Hey, welcome to Unboxing with Marty. In today's video, we're gonna have another look at that Raspberry Pi. We're running the Raspberry Pi OS. What we wanna do is we wanna use the Raspberry Pi imager and we wanna create a Ubuntu image for the Raspberry Pi. Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Before we start this project, there's gonna be a couple of things you need. You're gonna need a micro SD card. I'm using one with 32 gigs. And you're gonna need a card reader. I'm using this one here. Why? Because the uh, Raspberry Pi does not have a built-in card reader. You're gonna to need to insert the card reader into one of these USB ports. Now that we're all set, go ahead and insert the card into the Raspberry Pi. Close this box out. All right, you can see here, this is the drive that we're going to be using. In the upper left of the screen, click on the Raspberry, click on Accessories, then click on Imager. Under the operating system, you can click Choose Your OS. And here at the bottom, I wanted you to see this. This is where you can erase your card. This step isn't required, but I thought it'd be good to know. When you select it, be sure you pick the right card. You don't want to erase the wrong card. Click the right. As for erasing your uh, card, you're reaching a point of no return. Be sure to read this message carefully. When you're ready, click yes. Or, if you don't want to proceed, click no. And the card is erased. Let's get to the point of this video. We're going to go ahead and create an image of Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu here. This is nice. Click on that blue information tag there and you'll be taken to the web page for Ubuntu so you can read and learn a little bit more about Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a popular Linux operating system. Uh, a lot of people who are new want to dip their toe into the Linux world. This would be a good place to start. Okay, let's get back to creating the image. This is going to look familiar. This is going to be very similar to when we erase the disk. Select the Bantu. Select the card you want to use. Again, get ready to erase the disk. This is your warning. You'll need to enter your password for your Raspberry Pi OS here. For the video, we'll speed this process up. You might as well get yourself a cup of coffee. Maybe even mow the lawn. Okay, it really doesn't take that long. You can uh, look at the clock in the upper right to get an idea of the time here. We're almost there. All right, so you get a message box saying that the ride is successful and we can now remove the SD card from your reader. Close this out. And now we can shut down the Raspberry Pi Raspberry OS. This is what I like about the Raspberry Pi. When you want to swap uh, operating systems, just pull the one micro SD card out and replace it with the new micro SD card with the new OS. In this case, Ubuntu. Next, boot up the Raspberry Pi with the Ubuntu operating system. Okay, I've gone through the uh, setup for the Ubuntu and we're just going to take a high level review of the Ubuntu uh, operating system. Firefox is the web browser that comes with Ubuntu. You can see I'm loading it right now. We're going to take a quick look at it. We're just going to have a quick look at the Ubuntu homepage.
Let's have a look at the word processor from LibreOffice. This is the Ubuntu software. When you load this up, you can explore new apps that you want to download, view those that have been installed, and also see if there are any updates available. Over here on the bottom left, when you click, you'll be shown apps installed on your Raspberry Pi. And we did a high-level review of the Ubuntu system. In this video, we've reviewed using a Raspberry Pi, a single board computer, running the Raspberry Pi operating system. Using the Raspberry Pi's imager, we created a, another micro SD card image of Ubuntu. And we did a high-level review of the Ubuntu OS running on a Raspberry Pi. If you found this video a benefit, and you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And as always, thank you.